This is Earth, the year 2100. This is the headquarters of Space Patrol, and men from Earth, Mars, and Venus live and work there as guardians of peace. The Martian president is calling you on the solar beam, Colonel Rayburn. Thanks, Marla. Put them on. The drought on Mars is getting worse, Colonel. We've always suffered from dust storms, but never as bad as this. Professor Haggerty is working on the problem. I hope he finds an answer soon. We've already slaughtered thousands of cattle. I'll talk to Haggerty again. Get Professor Haggerty at once. He is on his way over. I knew you would wish to see him. You think of everything, Marla. Ah, Professor. Have you found a way of ending the drought on Mars? No. Well, you've got to think of something. Maybe you'll be wanting to take the Irish climate to Mars. Can you do it? Can I do it? What a question. I may be a genius, but I'm not a magician. Hmm. Seems we'll have to put my plan into action. What is that? Your planet Venus has the wettest climate in our galaxy. I'll fit water tanks into our space freighters and we'll ferry water from Venus to Mars. If the water were frozen, it could be transported without tanks. What a marvelous idea. I'll tell Haggerty. You're not only beautiful, Marla, you're brainy. <laughs> a compliment from Colonel Rayburn. How extraordinarily delightful. Get your big beak out of my experiment. But what's it for? I'm too busy to tell you. A cassip here, get this bird out of me way before I lose my temper. You've already lost it, Pop. Lost it already? I'll have you know I'm the meekest, mildest, gentlest, kindest man in the universe. And don't call me Pop! Come on, Gabler. Help me make a cup of tea for the professor. Ah! The worst day's work I ever did was teaching that Martian parrot to speak English. And, and what can I do for you, Colonel? I'm going to ferry water from Venus to Mars, and I want you to find a way of freezing it first. It's too hot on Venus to freeze the amount of water you will be needing. Tea's ready. Come and join me in a cup, Colonel. You've forgotten to fill the sugar bowl. I did fill it. So that's where the sugar's gone. Gabbler, you naughty bird. I'm building a house. Come and look. What do you think of it, Professor? It's a bit old-fashioned. Houses aren't built with bricks anymore. They are on Pluto. Gabbler's right. A few colonists on Pluto build their homes out of ice blocks. Ice blocks, that's the answer. We don't need to freeze Venusian water, Colonel. Pluto has a ready-made supply of ice, and we can cut it into cubes and ship it to Mars. You're a clever man, Professor. Thank you for solving the problem. He didn't solve it. I did. I'm the clever one. Me, 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 me! All right, Gabbler. As a reward, you can have six boxes of sugar cubes. I'll get a toothache. You'll get your ache, too, if you don't stop talking. I'll leave you two to fight alone. I must get Operation Ice Cube moving right away. Commander Brock, how is Operation Ice Cube getting on? We started ice cutting two hours ago. As soon as we've got enough cubes, we'll load the first freighter. It'll be a heavy cargo. I know. I'd like a Space Patrol crew to supervise the first freight that it takes off. Galosphere 347 is in your orbit. I'll tell them to report to you. I understand your orders, Colonel. We'll proceed to Pluto immediately. I was hoping to go back to Earth and enjoy some leave. Stop creeping, Slim. I'm not creeping, Husky. I'm griping. Increase speed, Slim, and change course for Pluto. Yes, Captain. Mm -hmm. 